but they want to tell you every single month, 150,000, 180,000, 439,000. This is a record high that nobody wants. That's an ugly, ugly statistic. We've talked about this. Basically, every time the U.S. job numbers come out, we talk about the exact same thing. And I'm becoming a broken record here. Every time the employment numbers come out, they always somehow beat expectations. Uh, somehow. They all always beat expectations. But quietly, a week later, they revised the prior month or prior two months down. I think it was November where the uh, jobs report was $185,000. Or not 185, it was 185,000 jobs. And then they quietly revised down the previous two months by 159,000 jobs. So basically, in that three-month span, you're talking 15,000 jobs added, something like that. But they want to tell you every single month, 150,000, 180,000, 439,000 is what they're saying for 2023. The U.S. employment reports overstated by 439,000 jobs in 2023. But... 8.7 millions of Americans, a record high, hold multiple jobs to make ends meet. This is a record high that nobody wants, right? Jobs may be continuing to grow, but it's because people are having to get multiple jobs to make ends meet. That's an ugly, ugly statistic that the White House and those in charge do not want you to know. There's something wrong with the previous U.S. jobs reports. And I knew I couldn't be the only one who saw this. And you probably saw this if you've been paying attention, right? The government quietly erased 439,000 jobs through November 2023. A closer look from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows. That means this initial jobs were inflated by 439,000. And the job market is not as healthy as the government suggests. Since the government wiped out 439,000 jobs after the fact, the total percentage of jobs created by the government last year is even higher. Increased government hiring and spending has been driving job numbers higher. And it's time to stop trading off the payroll data, right? The downward revisions came to an epic 443,000, according to this person. More than 40% of the payroll growth in 2023 came from fairy fairy tale birth death model, right? So. 40% of the jobs didn't actually exist. 40% of the jobs were idealistic numbers that they were coming up with. 40% of the jobs that they wanted you to believe were actually being created never existed in the first place. Brian says, most people don't read the details and only read the headlines. Well done. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for watching live. 40% of the jobs that this institution is telling you is the greatest comeback story ever. 40% of that is total hogwash. 40% of that is total bullcrap. 40% of that is what they say in Texas is total horse manure. Just makes me sick that these people in charge want to just lie to our faces and tell us, hey, everything is great, everything is hunky-dory, everything is going build back better. Whatever you do, don't vote in the orange man. Don't vote in the person who actually was running the country in a way where things were outstanding. It doesn't matter your political affiliation. Think back a few years ago. I can almost guarantee nearly everything in your lifestyle was easier and better and definitely cheaper than it is in 2024 because of Bidenomics, right? The problem with over overstating jobs is not a new one. We consistently talk about it. The Bureau of Labor Statistics issued a preliminary revision uh, through March showing was overstated by 306,000 jobs. That's 25,000 fewer jobs on average per month in that period. Man, it just it just continues to baffle my mind how people believe this stuff. Uh, the Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank also raised eyebrows when its algorithms predicted the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, had overreported jobs by a million in the second quarter of 2022. The president has been accused of taking too much credit for the job numbers. He claims that he created 13 to 14 million jobs. Oh, oh, God. My skin cringes when I hear this stuff. How can this 94-year-old geriatric who can't even walk without falling over every single day of the week, who can't for, uh, finish a sentence, claim he personally created 13 to 14 million jobs? Ugh, jeez. No. 
Economists and market analysts have pointed out that those jobs were the U.S. economy clawed back after the pandemic shutdowns erased 22 million jobs. In reality, the, the economy under President Biden's added back all the jobs is created 4 million since February 2020. And that's a, according to this writer, that's a ho-hum result. Manufacturing jobs are highly important. They create a halo effect for other sectors, uh, being that if you have a manufacturing hub, like, for example, Tesla in Austin, there's a ton of jobs that support that manufacturing plant, right? You've got lawyers, you've got home builders, you've got restauranteurs, you've got all kinds of jobs that are going to focus and help everyone that works in and around that plant. Um, it's like uh, last year, um, my family, we went on a scout camp out at the USS Lexington, which is an aircraft carrier down in Corpus Christi, Texas. And this was really cool. The aircraft carrier actually has a segment in their, their bunks um, that is just a Boy Scout camp. I, I, this is one of the neatest things I'd ever seen. Um, and it's open to tours and everything else. And they talked about how on an aircraft carrier that there's 5,000 people to support the planes launching and landing on this strip. Right? 5,000 people. The halo effect that we're talking about here. 5,000 people for basically a, uh, a landing strip that can float anywhere. I just thought that was really interesting. It's not one thing entity it's all of the halo effect around it all the jobs around that that's what they're saying here right manufacturing super important because it creates so many jobs around it the labor force participation is at a historical low of 62.5 percent of course it would be because there's so many government subsidies out there to just keep people afloat even in the hardest of inflation a lot of people are just throwing up their hands and saying, I'm going to go live with mom and dad. I'm just going to collect uh, unemployment benefits. Screw this. I'm done. In fact, last week we had a video talking about how Gen Z is totally hosed. They have given up the idea of home ownership because they, they know that they're never going to be able to save enough for the down payment. They're never going to be able to afford the payment because interest rates and the assets, the homes themselves have gone up so much. They've decided, decided, eh, screw it. I'm just going to rent forever <laughs> at some point. Those uh, very, not very wise financial decisions are going to come and haunt them. Just like all of these government numbers are coming back to haunt the people who have inflated them tremendously. And now people are identifying the fact that this is not the truth. This is not reality. And this economy is not working as well as they want you to believe. So let's take a look at what the AI trading data says about the S&P 500 which we actually got a sell signal back on December 4th. So if you're invested in this market right now, you might be looking to uh, cash out. Might be. I mean, you can do what you want, but you might be looking to cash out, or at least the way that I'm looking at it, take it a little bit more cautiously lately. Brian says, they can't work 20 hours a week and eat avocado toast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't afford the avocado toast if you're only working 20 hours a week. But Brian, these signal returns also show 108 0.25% returns over the uh, the period here, which is outstanding. And listen, we are having a tremendous sale and it's a very limited time. So if you want to get your hands on these AI trading signals for a one-time payment of $79, and that is it forever, $79, head down to the link down below and start trading with the world's best AI stock trading assistant today. So let's take a look at what the internet's saying about this, right? US initial, initial US employment reports overstated 439,000 jobs in 2023. But no mean tweets? Orange man, bad. No mean tweets. Why does our government do nothing but lie about everything? That gets a like right there. <laughs> Bidenomics doesn't work. Never has, never will. The job support has now become politicized to help Biden. Yep. We get great job reports that quietly revise down, uh, get revised downward by 50% later when nobody's paying attention. This is what I've been seeing. This is what, I, what I've been talking about. And this is why you as an informed investor should be paying attention to shows like this, right? We are not the mainstream. We're telling you like it is. And we're also sharing with you the AI trading signals that go along with these stories. So be sure to always click that subscribe button. That way you're staying on top of it every single week. And click one of these two videos. YouTube thinks that you're going to love one of these. At least the algorithm is recommending these to you. And I know that you're going to love it. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Outlier Life. I will see you right back here tomorrow on the next episode. Talk soon.